up guys all right so we got four more of these 2021 megatons these products are insane i don't like being hyperbolic and, and whatnot but the you can get a lot of your money back with just one tin and i will try to put prices as i'm pulling stuff the prices might change of course because i mean this product is not even a week old so keep that in mind but as of right now it's insane so yeah, let's go ahead and start this opening. I'll put these to the side for now and uh, we'll focus on one here. Um, actually, before I start, to kind of prove my point here, I opened up about four, six, six boxes, six uh, of these tins, and I got three of these, and this is $300 right here in in cards, in card, <laughs> card value. Um, it was, I think it was six or eight tins. Um, from different locations so it's insane these tins were also from that same location or one of the, the locations so i doubt we're going to pull another cross out designator from what i've seen the ratios are about uh one to two per per case and a case comes with 12 of these tins so i don't think we're going to get any more of, of these uh really awesome chase cards in in this opening but just kind of proving my point here you can get your money back really quickly in this set but yeah let's go ahead and jump in in here okay so i already did sell one of the cross outs um shipped it like two days ago maybe uh and essentially the the tins i bought were free so let's see what we get in this opening i haven't gotten any triple tactics talent and i've only gotten one zeus so yeah Kind of hope it kind of uh, rooting for those guys uh first uh, prismatic here's a sky striker ace rose then we got burning draw and ignister island i think that's how it's pronounced it's not ai land it's island um i'll try to group these two this time around because i think it might be more fun this way i'll also i'll try to try to put the best cards front and center too if i can but yeah let's let's uh let's see if this if i can keep this through the whole opening all right so second pack here super heavy samurai wagon not hard to get by the way i keep getting this guy melfi of the forest then we got virtual world roshi lao lao lolo Ooh, Nadir Servant, that's actually not bad from what I remember. It's about 20 bucks right now. So we'll see if, if, um, if I'm not wrong, because that's already a 10 right there. And uh, our all, other Ultra is Nerval. Um, it, from what I remember from OTS, it was the most expensive super at 10 bucks. It went down after, after a while, but originally it was about 10 bucks. So I'm not sure now that it's uh, an ultra rare if it'll be more expensive or cheaper. I mean, it is easier to get. Then we got a uh, virtual world Kyobi gravity controller. And then uh, virtual world Hime Nyan 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 Nyan. No clue. Dogmatica Maximus. Nice. And uh, Iria, the Water Charmer Gentle. Interesting. All right. Put that there. The the Chase um, Virtual World card, I guess, if you are chasing Virtual World cards, is probably Lulu. From what I remember for this set, the price in this set for Lulu is $15. I might be wrong though cuz I'm just pulling these out of my <laughs> out of my ass, I guess, cuz uh I mean, I, I remember some prices, but it's kind of hard to keep track of everything, especially in the beginning of of a set's life when the prices fluctuate so much. Starting off here with Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, Deep Sea Aria Ooh, nice. Parallel Exceed. And then uh, the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. I sold two copies of this, too, so going fast. Um, 
if you are a fan of Knights player, you should probably, you know, no, wait, wait a bit and then buy it. But the these cards, I will tell you, the the this card in particular, I should say, did sell really fast for me. So, uh, our last ultra here, question, Queda, Quad Shadal, Kilios, okay. Quad Shadal. Sounds like a really dumb name. Alright, Melfi Caddy. I think that was a super. Infernable Arms Durendal. Ad Emancipator Seeker. Tri Brigade of Frigid the Baron Blossom. Probably gonna be one of the better cards, right? Because Tri Brigade Tri Brigade in general is pretty generic. So anything that has, uh, anything in the tri Brigade archetype in the set is probably going to go up in value. That's my opinion anyways, because you just need a, a, I mean, you already have Harpy's Lady that you can use this card in because Wing Beast, right? It's just, I don't know how viable Harpies are. They're probably just a fun deck, but we, we just need like a really good archetype that's Beast, Beast Warrior, or Wing Beast, and then th these cards are going to go up in value. Then, uh, Dogmatica Nexus. I actually don't remember this card. And our last Ultra, Nel Shadal Ariel. Cool. I don't, I don't know where these, uh, Shadal cards came from. I don't remember them being in a core set. So it might have been a side set that they're reprinting here. Shiny Black Sea Squatter, Drytron Delta Altias. Nice fusion deployment. If you haven't seen my previous tin opening, I really like this card. I think I got two already um, from off screen openings. And I mean, I, I just want more copies of this. I, this is probably going to be, at least for my, my favorite, Prismatic Secret. It looks really cool and prismatic, and it's a really good card for fusion players. Uh, we got G King Beast Barbaros, Bar Barbaros, Barbaros, something like that. And then Grave Digger's Trap Hole. I think this card was also pretty expensive when it came out. We're actually keeping these piles pretty clean, but I mean, as you can tell, I'm, I'm getting decent luck with crossouts, but for Zeus and, um... Triple Tactics Talent, it's just, it's just not happening. Let's go, third 10 here. Trap Tricks, Alamares, also really easy to get. So, yeah, just kind of talking here. <laughs> Gizmic Okami, Ad Emancipator Signs, Ignister Island again, and then uh, Tri Brigade, Shurig the Ominous Omen, interesting. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it does seem like all the Tri Brigade cards are generic from what I've seen. Then again, I'm not reading them fully. I'm just kind of glancing at them, so. Adam Emancipator Analyzer. L Ling? Linge? Link Karibo? Like Link Karibo, I guess. Nice. Ravael, Lord of Phantasms. So I already got Uriah off, um, off one of the openings I did um, off camera. And I, I guess I'm just missing Haman. Right? Yeah, just Haman. But these guys look pretty cool in person. I know some people were disappointed, bitching, as usual, that these guys are um, prismatics. But I, I like it. I mean, we the, the, uh, the Egyptian gods have gotten so many... You know treatments and it kind of sucks that the um the phantom beast haven't gotten much love they did get a structure deck before the 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 gods so i guess if you consider that you know getting some special treatment being vip uh before the egyptians <laughs> the egyptian gods not the egyptians um yeah i guess so but i don't know man i really do like that they did this um i'm disappointed though because they also made the some other cards ultra rare from the structure deck, which I'm not too happy about. If we pull it, I'll talk about it. But uh, so we got Catch a Doll 
Kios, I think this is the one we already pulled, and Dogmatica Theo the Iron Punch, which also looks pretty cool. In, in this set, man, you just get so much value that I do think the prices that we're seeing right now are probably going to be one, some of the lowest prices for this set. Because, I mean, there's Dogmatica, there's Tri Brigade, there's um, Crossed Out, there's uh, Triple Tactics Talent, there's Zeus, there's Alpha. It's insane, dude. Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, Heavy Forward. Chanel Schism, nice. I think that's about five bucks. Ah, here we go. So I'll talk about this. And then uh, King King Beast Bar Barbaros. So, yeah. This is where I'm going to complain a little bit. Not too much, but... So, it sucks that opening the Spirit Key is an Ultra Rare, because the Ultra Rares in the set are probably the better ones. And... They should have stuck with that. I mean, it's it's a good card, but not there's not there's like very few Sacred Beast players, and they it should have probably I, I think it was already a super in in the structure deck, so maybe kept it as a common. But you know, it is what it is. All right, so last ten here. So we're not getting a lot of luck. As actually pretty, this is pretty expected. I probably shouldn't have opened the other ones off camera, but it is what it is. Um, I just hope I get Triple Tactics Talent and Zeus, because, man, I really... I Well, I, I think I need Triple Tactics Talent. I, I need three copies for a deck that uh, I, I want to make. So, we'll see how it goes. Let's uh, line that up there. The other ones I'll leave. Don't want to take too much time here. Last ten, here we go. Erect? Okay. I was like, what? Arc Jet. Uh, Dry Drytron Gamma Altanen. Super Heavy Samurai Wagon. Drytron Zeta Aldeba. I haven't gotten this card, actually. Must be really hard to get. And then uh, Chaos Ruler of the Chaotic Magical Dragon. I keep getting this guy, but he's a good card. So I, uh, I want more. <laughs> Then uh, Picari Attic Mister. So still no Triple Tactics Talent. All right. Ad Emancipator Analyzer. Noctovision Dragon. Dragon Mage Shuu. Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. And then Iria the Water Charmer Gentle crazy so if you you are getting if you get triple tactics talent i say hold on to it it's it seems harder to get at least for me than cross out so all right so exceeds import artillery catapult turtle actually, i actually haven't gotten this card either dogmatica punishment nice and then we do have a spell so we'll see if we get our triple tactics talent Unfortunately, not piercing the darkness. And then another spell. Okay, it is. Burning draw. That's unfortunate. So, piercing the darkness too. And the, um, all, all the new world premiere blue eyes and dark magician support have been pretty hard to get too. So, I think that was the way, the same way in the 2020 tins, but I don't really remember. Anyway, so that's going to be the video, though. Uh, as far as this opening, it was just all right. I don't think we got anything crazy. Um, I think we got, like, basically different secrets, prismatics. Yeah. There's no repeats. That's actually pretty good. I think there's 20 prismatics in this set, or 30. So that's pretty good, actually. Um, and ultras, I think, I'm pretty sure we got some repeats. So, yeah. Barbaros, and we did get a Dear Servant, so that's good. I'm happy about that. All right, uh, that's we're gonna that's where we're gonna leave it, guys. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe as usual. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.